story, the Baal Shem Tov <coughs> story. Once there was a man that was a very egotistical, haughty man, a Jew, religious Jew. He lived in a simple town, but he invested his money outside of the town. He made a lot of money and he became very rich, very rich and influential. One day, he, um, it just went to his head, just went crazy. He was looking at all the people, what am I living among all this riffraff for, from all these simple fools? I should be in, you know, big time. I could be living in big, probably even more. If I wasn't, you know, here, I would probably be even richer than I am now. Richer. So he went, went mad. He went mad to the degree that he was in the middle of his prayers. He was sitting with his talus and his tefillin on. And he was in the middle of the prayers. And there was right before we say the Shimon Esri prayer, a place where you're not supposed to speak in, in prayer. So he just became obsessed with this idea of, uh, you know, that he should be greater. And he, there was a sentence he read, Mashpil game ade oretsu magbish falim ad morom. That God casts the haughty, throws down the haughty to the earth. People who are haughty, who are egotistical, God throws them to the earth and he elevates the humble people to the highest. Mashpil game ade oretsu. And he lifts up humble people to the highest of high. So that sentence sort of rang in his mind. He said, Mashpil game Adi Oritz. It could be maybe somebody said to him something early in the day. You know, you are a <coughs> a Balgaiva, you're a you're a uh, you know an egotist. Anyway, somebody threw a word to him, whatever, and he just went wild. He went wild. He took off his tefillin, he took off his talus, and he started walking through the streets. And the first person he met, he said, who's the greatest person around here? And they said, why you, Mr. Grace, you, Mr. Grace. See, see. Si. He went to another place. Who, the, the, got a little further. Who's the greatest person? Oh, Mr. Grace, you're the greatest. You're the richest. You're the wise. He said, this, I'm, I'm the greatest. Nothing. Anyway, as he started getting uh, to the outskirts of the Jewish sector, and he met a non-Jew, who's the greatest person in, in the, so the greatest person is, is the, do, is the, the baron. Tedius, the, the Stephen, whatever, Stephen, the, the Baron, sees he's up in the mountain. What about, oh, yes, Mr. Grace, yes, yes, of course, I've heard of you, of course, but nothing compared to the Baron. Look, as he got out of the Jewish area, so he started asking people, who's the greatest person? I said, the, 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 the priest, uh, the Stephen, Stephen, he's the greatest. Look at that, look at his palace, look at his, where he lives. Anyway, so he's insane. He goes to the, the, the with, 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 uh, with greed, he goes to this palace and the, 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 the priest sees what's going on. He's a very clever person. And he invites him in. He says, oh, Mr. Grois, come in. I'm, I'm so happy to have you come here. I'm so grateful. A great person like you should come here and meet. Probably what you want to know is how to make more money. Really, the fact is, is that if you weren't Jewish, you would be much richer than I am. You know, because of this anti-Semitism, isn't it terrible? Isn't it awful? Anti-Semitism. I do everything I can to try to to get to, to to discourage people from it, but it's not working. But but please come in, come in. <clears throat> I'll tell you what I'll do. I will make you an agreement. I will teach you, despite the fact that you're Jewish, and that that's going to be a big impediment. But I will teach you to be the tricks to be as rich as me. It's a course of three weeks. I have to stay here. And just sign right over here. Sign right over here. But, but let's before you sign, let's make a lachaim. Let's make a lachaim. I know you don't drink wine, can't drink wine, but we can make a lachaim with vodka. Now, the, this priest puts a little something into his, a little pill into his vodka. To make a lachaim, he drinks it. Suddenly, he starts to feel, just sign right here. He said, oh, you don't have to read it. He can't read it anyway. Everything is all, it says in the bottom that if he, if he leaves the class, then he loses all of his money. And it also says another condition in being in the class that he has to change his religion. He has to change his religion. He has to become a Catholic and uh, deny Judaism. We become a Catholic and then he'll teach him everything, he'll be rich, etc. He doesn't really, he sets himself confused and he signs. 
and he signs. And he says, okay, now remember, the priest says to him, now remember, you have to change your religion and you have to change your religion. You'll be very rich. And if you renege on this, then all of your money goes to me. He says, yeah, sure, sure. We're friends, right? Friends, yes, sign. He signs. He says, okay, you look really tired. Go into this room, go to sleep. Puts him in a room, locks the door. He wakes up. He doesn't know how long. Mr. Groys wakes up a day later, two days later, a week, doesn't know, an hour later. He doesn't know what's going on, but his head hurts. And he tries the door. It's locked. And on the wall are all these you know, crosses and pictures and things like that. He says, what in the world? How did I get here? What's going on? Suddenly, all of a sudden, it all comes back to him. He remembers what he did. Oy, oy, oy. Just for money, I went out of my mind. Look, I changed my, I changed my religion. What have I done? I... <clears throat> so he said, uh, listen, I didn't change anything. I just signed over there. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of this place. So how am I going to do it? I mean, it means I'll lose everything. I don't care. I'm getting out. So he sees that there's a little, excuse me, there's a little window way up high. And he takes a couple of the carpets that are on the floor and he rolls them up and he stacks whatever his chairs and tables up to get to the window. And he puts one of these carpets in the this and he pushes himself out, holding onto the carpet. And it, it just by miraculously, he falls into this big bush and the carpet was one underneath him. So it didn't hurt him so much. And he loses his consciousness. He wakes up. And he starts to run. He starts to run. It's nighttime. Nighttime when he's running up. And he starts to run. And he runs and he runs and he runs. Until finally he gets to the Baal Shem Tov's uh, place, a synagogue. And he comes to the Baal Shem Tov. And he, the Baal Shem Tov greets him. And he says, uh, and he falls to his knees. And he sa- cries. He says, please forgive me. Forgive me. I, what have I done? I've, I've, I've. I, I changed. I said I would change my religion. I, 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 even for a second to think such a thing, how could I do it? And, and now I ran away. I lost everything. I lost all my, but it was worth it. But please find some way to forgive me. How could I think of changing my religion just for money? How could I? <clears throat> so the Baal Shem Tov said, uh, now you realize what you said when you thought, when you were praying. Mashpil game adioretz. That God casts down the haughty, the egotistical, cast them down to the earth. He said, yes, 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 I realize what it is. God cast me down. I was haughty. I was egotistical. I was this. So please, for, but forgive me. If I to... <clears throat> so the Baal Shem Tov said, look over there. What do you see? So he looks. He says, oh, it's the sun rising. The sun is rising. There is hope. The Baal Shem Tov, no, no, that's not the sun. That's, <clears throat> that's in the west. The sun rises in the east. What's that you see over the I said, what do I see? It's not the sun. It's, oh, it's a fire. It's a big fire over there. It's lighting up the whole, the whole uh, the, the, the horizon. He says, yeah, that's the priest's house burning down. It's burning down with the agreement that you made, with all the papers that you made. <clears throat> so that's the second part of your sentence that you said. Mashpil game adiorets. God casts down <clears throat> the haughty to the earth. Magbiyash filimad morom. They lifts up the humble people to the highest of highs. You've given, you've been given all of your riches back, but even more is given you true humility. That's the story of the Baal Shem Tov <clears throat> and how humility is the biggest gift of all. Have a good day with Mashiach now. See you all. God willing, Friday, tomorrow, we'll continue learning. We'll try to finish the Devar Malchut that we are involved in. Have a good day. God bless you all. Shalom uvracham.